thighs are nice and tight, stomach is in, and it's gonna be moving nice and slow. We're gonna inhale for one, two, slowly elbows up, three, four, five, elbows shoot that a little bit higher for six, good exhale, six. Now look at the ceiling, five, look farther back, four, now same time we're gonna go hands, palms, elbow is gonna touch up away from the chest and then we inhale nice slow chin down elbows up so you're tracing the eyes to you wrap the hands around the chin frame the face of the forearms lift the elbows up and back full lungs so now we're going to keep the lift in the elbows so we got head dropping back slowly working the elbows to touch and we're squeezing out every last little drop of air to fully Inhale, nice, slow, chin down, elbows up. Now the slower, the better, the more you use your lungs. And when it feels like you're full, you're never full. Get inhale, a little more, a little more. Exhale, that pressure release. So it should be a loud, loud, ha sound. Mouth is wide open. Slowly working the head down. Down, elbows up. So the slower, the better. All the while, check in lower body solids. So we go weight in the heels, knees back, thighs tight, stomach in, keep it in as you exhale. So we got lower body solids. Gonna help relax your shoulders. We round shoulders, elbows stretch forward and forward, and let's go nice, slow. Chin down, elbows up. Now as you're ground in the floor, same time, what do we do? Grow up. So you're literally lengthening the spine chest, wake up the nervous system, elbows up. Exhale, you're maintaining your length. Your chest heart is lifting up to the ceiling as the weight's planned in the heels. Let's go, those elbows point up, up to the marrow, away from the chest, and we inhale a nice flow. Now, a few more here, so you gotta stay strong. The harder you work here, the easier the class, warming up the body inside out, expanding the lungs, inhale a little more. Exhale now, where are we looking? Farther back, but not hunching back. Slowly the elbows touch, down, point up, up to the mirror, squeeze it all out. Inhale nice slow. We're gonna go three more, okay? So we got all we in the heels. Thighs tight, stomach in, bib cage expanding, get elbows up and back, full lungs. X on that smooth rhythm, we got head dropping back, round shoulders, elbows stretch forward and forward, and we inhale these last two are slow motion. We are never in a race. Drag it out and then stomach and rib cage expands. Get in a little more, a little more. And then loudest ha sound, setting up the spinal breath. We go head back, round shoulders, elbows stretch forward, squeeze out all stale air thoughts to fully inhale. And last one, of course, the biggest, best one yet. You're sucking the air from the four corners of the room. And when it feels like your lungs are gonna burst, you inhale more elbows up. And then with smooth rhythm, head dropping back, bound shoulders, elbows stretch forward and forward. Now take that moment to squeeze your arms, squeeze it all out. And awesome way to start out the practice is you can arms gonna float down. We're gonna go right in for a half moon pose, our turn to as we keep the toes, heels together, we get arms up. Interlock the fingers, release the next fingers, thumbs cross. So right away we lock the arms as if you have no elbows and you know we try to glue palms tight, salting, but there's no gap between the palms. We in the heels, we're gonna inhale, lengthen up and just start to bend right and left. So it's a little warm up here and just swing back and forth like a little pendulum. Connecting into how your body feels today, right? it's a little different each every day. The left side, the right side might be different. And now most importantly, connecting to the breath, right? Your fuel for your practice. Let's keep the mouth closed, keep the breath flow steady, consistently, and out of the nose throughout. And as we go a couple more times, right, left. Stop there and stand tall. So we're gonna make sure the ground, the weight in the heels. Hips forward a little bit with the upper body back slightly. Now let's try to relock those arms stronger, palms tight, give it that deep inhale, full lung stretch up, bend right, Shift hips left. Now always in a straight line. 
And without bending the elbows to the knees, you shift the hips, where you meet that initial resistance. And you focus on your arms and legs locked. So you're no bending the elbows, palms tighter than you think. And from the start, we got all weight in the heels, knees back, thighs tight, stomach in. Now throughout the chin, up, throat visible, you're breathing steady, consistently in out of the nose, making little micro adjustments, hips out of line, you work the left hip a little forward, square the hips, shoulders out of line, you work the right shoulder forward, looking good, hips, shoulders in line, restructuring the body. Now let's work those arms a little farther behind the ears, moving with your breath, inhale, we're going to start to lengthen, stretch up a little bit, exhale, we start to push that a little more, hips out a little more, deeper, farther, push and push, and then we're going to change, we're going to come back up, we got arms still strong, weight in the heels, we're going to give it that deep inhale, full lunge, stretch up, bend left, shift, hips rise. So we're in it for a minute. So it's about pacing yourselves, right? It's not about how far you're bending down, right? We might be a little bit off the vertical, but we're focusing on the arms and legs locked. And you know how it is. Those arms like to bend. We try to keep lock locking the arms, salt them with the biceps jammed against the head, arms tight as possible, salt them cannot slide a credit card between the palms, strengthening the wrist, preventing arthritis. From the start of the practice, weight spin in the heels, knees back, thighs tight, stomach in, and it's your arms, legs lock, creating that stretch, heels all the way to the fingertips. We're literally open the body, bones to scan now with the weight ground in the heels, hips forward a little bit, upper body back slightly, it's just move in with your breath, noticing inhale, you're gonna naturally Lengthen and stretch up, finding a little space. Exhale, you're going to naturally push that a little bit deeper and creating that vine of energy, heels to fingertips. We got thighs tight, stomach and so you got to bump the hips out a little deeper, farther push. Good, looking good. Right to the edge, you come right back up. Arms still strong, drop the head back in. All the way back, right? Step one is let the head go, not holding it up whatsoever. Now, step two is to inhale, reach up to the ceiling and start going back. And we know 99.9% .9 of this is mental. You just got to start looking back and pointing back and going back. And the counterbalance is you push the stomach, legs, hips to the mirror. You point the arms to the back wall. So go hips a little more forward, arms a little more back. And as you feel it in the lower back, inhale, lift the heart. Now, if the lift in the chest is time to dive back, that means you're looking back, you're pointing back, and understanding where you're looking, eventually pointing. So let's look back, go back, a little more, back, and then up. As you come back up, we're going to pause here for a second. Very nice. Let that settle. We're going to lengthen up, stomach in tight, and let's go the other way. So we're going to hinge forward, bend the knees as you need to. Place the hands on the floor, drop your head down and start moving, right? So we gotta just loosen the body up, shake your legs, shake your hips, let the head drop down, making sure everything is nice and loose. Couple squat down bounces, opening up the joints. And then we're gonna look now, squat down halfway, cup the hands right underneath the heels. So let's work that grip. Ultimately, we're gonna get right behind the heels. So your pinkies are side by side. And then we're going to bend the knees to get the elbows as far behind the calves. And then we're going to start pulling and make sure throughout it's a steady and constant pull. We want a body leg sandwich. So we got stomach on the thighs, chest on the knees. You're aiming forehead to one day, maybe today, foreheads on the shins. And little by little, we're going to push the knees back, pull and lift the hips up. Now, most importantly, you have a steady constant pull, continuously lifting the hips up to the ceiling, to the sky, right? Little millimeters, hips up and up. And for 10 seconds, let's breathe steady. Keep on adjusting to the posture. Breathe, gain strength. Those biceps should be bulging. Roll forward, pull, hips up and up. Lock the knees and lock the knees. And then change. So we go flat back, arms head together. So you're going to hinge at the hips. You're going to keep the arms up there. And just nice and slow, arms are gonna float down and we're still gonna stand still tall and breathe. All right, so we go to a couple deep breaths. And we're gonna go right in for round two. Second set, we got arms up, lock. So again, let's take that time in the setup. 
biceps against the head. And second set, maybe press those fingers into the back of your hands a little bit more, right? Strengthening that grip even more. Weight in the heels, give it that deep inhale, full long stretch up, bend right, shift hips left. Now it's always the form. So we shift the hips out, arms don't suddenly bend, right? If anything, a little more lock solid, palms a little bit tighter. You got a trillion percent weight in the heels, thighs tight, stomach, and now with your arms, legs locked, you feel it in the body, stretch down the whole left side, heels all the way to the fingertips with the weight ground in the heels. Hips forward a little bit, upper body back slight. In these last 10 seconds, explore, edge your flexibility. Inhale, lengthen, stretch, create a little space. Exhale, push that a little deeper, a new flexibility. Gotta push. Get right to the edge, come right back up. Arms still strong, weight in the heels, give it that deep inhale now, full long stretch up, bend left, shift hips right. So we're getting right where you meet resistance. We all know resistance we, is inevitable. It's how you react to it. So we focus on your form, looking good with that, and then your connection to the breath, right? Breathe and breathe and breathe some more. And as you breathe into the stretch, inhale again, we're gonna naturally lengthen and stretch up. Uh, so I got to push and the whole body working, your arms, legs locked, your thighs tight, stomach in, inhale, we're going to lengthen and stretch, exhale, got to calm down, push and push and push and change, good, right to the edge, I come right back up, arms still strong, going to drop the head back and all the way back, okay, now still breathing in out of the nose. Inhale, I'm gonna reach, stretch up to the ceiling and start going back. There is no looking up anymore, right? We're only looking back, pointing back, going back. As you push your stomach, legs, hips forward, arms go back, it's that counterbalance. So hips a little more forward, arms a little more back. Now as you inhale, we gotta lift the heart up to the ceiling of the sky, working in the middle spine. Now you know to work into the upper spine, utilize your arms, you gotta look back. Point back, go back, and most of it right now is be and not afraid to go a little more back, and so do go back and back. Awesome, nice hand. Let's go right back up. Give it a second. We're gonna lengthen up, stomach in, and let's transition the other way. Hinge forward and start dancing. So we just take it out a little bit more, let the head drop down, shake your legs, shake your hips. And just loosening up the hips, the lower back, the back of the legs. And again, a couple squat down bounces, opening up the joints. Maybe you hear some snap crackle pops in the joints, waking them up. Squat down halfway, cup the hands right underneath the heels. All right, so as we work in, ultimately your pinkies are side by side, right? Now I know some of us, we're working towards it, right? So little by little, wrapping the hands farther around. As best as you can, we bend the knees, elbows as far behind the calves. You got your best grip for today, and then you get to pulling, and it's a steady, constant pull with the body smushed against the legs, stomach on the thighs, chest on the knees, aim forehead till it's ultimately onto the shins, and little by little, you gotta roll into the toes, push the knees back, keep pulling, lifting the hips, feeling, stretch, all over the back legs. Now, a little pain-like sensation in the back legs means it's working, send your breath there, roll forward, pull more hips up, lock the knees, lock the knees, and change, so we go flat back, arms head together, gonna hinge at the hips, keep the arms up there. Okay, just nice, slow, arms are gonna float down, and it's just stillness and breath, right? Still like a statue, couple deep breaths, best way to reset focus. And let's keep plugging along. Awkward pose, you're tossing, gonna step right foot out, six inches about hip width distance apart, feet parallel like train tracks. And then we get arms up parallel to the floor. Elbows locked, triceps tight, five fingers together, right? They're never separate fingers together, reaching forward as you exhale, stomach in, sit right down. So go one motion in the chair, 100% weight in the heels and as you got weight in the heels it feels awkward you're in awkward pose you reach like you're going to touch the mirror in front of you now as you inhale gonna lift the chest arch the back and chest up lean back it's in the back back is of the feet weight in the heels touch the mirror get nice resource coming right back up 
on to the tippy toes right here. It's ballerina time. You got all the way to the big and second toe. We're going to visualize a wall behind you. And as you slide down, I want to get your heels up and up and up. You'd be sporting the highest pair of heels. We go heels up, up and up, tippy as toes. We got upper body lean. That's the Mandre wall. And it's a little low, lower in the chair. And as you get even higher in the toes, breathing and out of the nose and holding it incredibly strong. Four, three, two, one. Really strong. And let's come back up. Arms still solid. We got third part. A little bit on the feet. Jam the knees like it's one knee. Now you knees together. You visualize that wall behind you. So spine straight. Sliding down slow, right? Slower the better. So you jam those knees together. That's like your brakes as you go slow and slow and slower towards the end, like an elevator. It's ultimately the hips slightly above the knees. So we'll go knees down and chest up. And this is where it's mind over matter, right? Challenging, but stronger than you think. So you could bounce a couple times, bounce and bounce. Hold it to the top of the bounce, jam those knees and slowly proceed up against that imaginary wall with control. Really good. And then we're gonna step right foot back and just chin up, chest open and breathe as we find a couple deep breaths. Ego pose, then a little water break. So we get arms up, make sure first thing we go right under left. Elbows underneath, palms to touch. So you're gonna work that grip. We're gonna pull the elbows up and down. And then we're gonna bend down nice and low. Okay, we're gonna bend down nice and low, stay low, chest up, and then together we're gonna go right leg high, up, over. Now it's like you're crossing the legs. Now, uh, uh, working eventually to wrapping the foot around the calf. Now, if that's not happening, it's just about setting that intent. Tendency is to hover forward, so we wanna keep counteracting by lift, lift the chest. Good, okay, there it is, nice and easy, you're arching upper body back. Little more weight of the heel, and then we want to start sitting lower, twisting the legs more. So let's pull the elbows down, stomach in, and sink down in, down low. And I feel like my fall, I got to arch back and get lower and tighter and squeeze. That this me, let's get arms up and go right in, left under right, elbows underneath, palms touch. You got to get that grip, pull the elbows up and down. Bend down nice and low. So you gotta bend in the knees, keep the chest up, and together we're gonna go left leg high up, over and around. So it's up, over. As you're ready, wrapping the foot around the calf. If not, no worries, working towards it. And just want that proud open chest, right? Ego pose, looking proud with that chest puffed up, arching upper body back, more weight of the heel. And then we start sitting low. Just gonna twist the legs more and wanna pull the elbows down and into the body, and right here, arch, arch the back, arch, arch the back, and get down, squeeze, freeze, concentrate, meditate, get really good, hold everybody, we get arms up, arms down, and then just give it a nice deep breath, and grab a refreshment, party time, so really good warm up, enjoy. All right, so once we get a little sip, we're gonna find your way back to the mat, toes, heels together again, standing nice and tall, ready to move along. We're gonna shift all focus to the left leg. And then so we're gonna start pushing the left knee back, pulling on the left thigh tight so there is no bend in the knee. Now we're gonna get right leg up, thigh parallel to the floor. Use your core, stomach in, round down, and get your grip. Now. As far as you can grab along the shin, right? If it's not below the toes, no worries. And then focusing one point on your left leg, make sure it's locked, solid and concrete. That's pushing the left knee back, pulling on the left thigh tight so there is no bend in the knee. And as the weight comes to the side of the foot, pressing the big left toe down, big left toe down. Now, if your leg's solid, concrete, 10 feet below the ground, then only we're gonna Gently kick the right heel towards the mirror, flex the toes. And as you kick, kicking the heel out, flexing the toes back to little by little, both legs locked. No bend in both knees, use your core, stomach in and in. Elbows working down, down below. Keep kicking the heel out, 
flexing the toes back, pulling with all of your might and holding still, press the big left toe down, three, two, one. Good, hold there, we're gonna reverse out. Hands give that nice deep inhale. Nice deep exhale, gonna focus on that right leg and let's make sure it's locked. Pushing the knee back, pulling up on the thigh. Now left leg up, thigh parallel to the floor, stomach in, round down, and get a grip. And again, your best grip, if not below the toes, don't stress out about it. Now if you are grabbing below the toes, include the thumbs underneath, right? We never wanna leave the thumbs out. And I'm gonna focus one point on your right leg, pushing the knee back, pulling up on the thigh. No bend in the knee. Now as the weight comes to the side of the foot, keep pressing the big right toe down, big right toe down. We got stomach in and in. Breathing steady and steady, feeling your legs solid concrete, not bending, budging. Then gently kick the left heel towards the mirror, flex the toes. And as you kick, kick in the heel out, flexing the toes back, without stopping, little by little, both legs lock. Both legs lock, stomach in and in. Elbows working down below the calves. Now we're still breathing, steady, holding it strong, pulling up on the right thigh, pressing the big right toe down, heel out, toes in, pull with the grip. Good. Yeah. So we're going to reverse out, opposite way. Hands on hips, quick little backward bend, let it go. And then we got second step. So good thing it's half the time. Toes, heels are still together. We're gonna to focus on that left leg, should be 10 feet below the ground. And let's keep flowing along. Okay, so we go right leg up, thigh parallel to the floor. Stomach in, round down, and get a grip. And let's keep that laser beam focused, right? It's physical obviously but it's mental what are you thinking lock lock the leg all that matters and if you're a million billion percent sure a leg locked gently kick the right heel forward flex the toes now heel out toes in to little by little both legs lock no bend in both knees elbows working down below the calves now holding it strong so we go heel out toes in Elbows below as you're ready, go chin in, stomach in, forehead meet in the knees, still flexing the toes and pulling with their grip and holding strong, steady, still, three, two, one. Beautiful, beautiful work, looks so good. And I'm gonna reverse out, opposite way, deep inhale, exhale, now last side, let's close it out, nice strong here together, right leg 10 feet below the ground, we're gonna go Left leg up, thigh parallel to the floor, stomach in, and for 30 seconds of your day, get to work, right? You're thinking about lock, lock the leg, right? Lock, lock the leg, that laser beam concentration, determination, and if you're a million percent sure the leg locked, you kick. Kick the heel out, flex the toes. Now, understand there's no race to kick out, right? Some of you building the foundation, that is where it starts, right? So keep pushing the knee back, pulling up in the thigh, that solid leg. Now those you kick, flex, both legs locked, we go elbows down below the calves. As the elbows below, keep pressing the bigger right toe down, kicking and flexing and pulling. And as you're ready, chin in, stomach in, four to the knee. And you know it's strong still like a statue. Three, two, one. And cigar first out opposite way. Good, wonderful, nice stand, nice swing. I'm gonna give it that quick little back rib bend, hand drops back, forget about it. We got standing bow. So we still got your toes, heels together. Starts from the bottom up. We go right arm out, palm up, and it's that straight down inside grip. Now it's straight down inside grip. We still go knees together for alignment. We got that left leg 10 feet below the ground. Now right here. Left arm is reaching up to the ceiling, to the sky. So whole left arm, energized, got chin up, stretch up, and it better be a strong kick. Back and up, back and up, and you're kicking as far away from the butt. Back, back to the back wall, up, up to the ceiling. Now keep the chin up, chest lift, and that left arm better be solid. So you got a strong kick, Strong stretch, that's where you're gonna balance forever. Kicking, stretching is equal, opposite, 50, 50, body down as you kick. 
Stretch forward as you kick. You feel like you might fall, you kick, and you kick. And chest down, reaching forward, kicking a little more, a little harder, 10 seconds, control, body down. Stretching forward, feel like you might fall, but you kick and kick and kick and kick. And then release out, really good. Yeah, nice deep inhale, nice deep exhale, we go. Last side, left arm, or other side, left arm out, palm up, straight down for that inside grip. And then we go knees together for alignment. Right leg 10 feet below the ground, right arm reaching up to the sky. Now, minute posture, pace yourselves. Reach up to the ceiling, make sure it's a strong kick. Back and up, back and up. You feel that beautiful curve in the spine. Your chin up, chest is lifted, looking nice, proud with that right arm solid like a sword. Try to keep those fingers right in line with the eyes like a bullseye. You gotta match a strong kick with the strong stretch, right? You can't have a strong kick and a wimpy stretch. Doesn't add up, right? Kick, stretch, equal, opposite, balance forever, ever and ever. Now, 15 seconds, now stay steady, build that concentration. Termination, breathe and breathe. Some of you kick, see toes right over the middle of your head. Kick more, that right arm reaching forward. Left shoulder sits back, so you get body down. Stretch forward, now right here, turn on, kick. Four, three, chest down, kick. Awesome, really good. Way to hold that to the end. And then slide into those couple deep breaths. And then good thing, second set, half the time. Okay, so we go right arm out, palm up, straight down, inside grip, and knees together for alignment. So left leg 10 feet below the ground, left arm is reaching up to the sky. So whole left side energized, we got chin up, stretch up, and it better be a strong kick. Back and up, back and up. You kick as far away from the butt, up to the ceiling with your chin up, chest lifted, that left arm solid, and it's all from you, right? It's not outside of yourself. It's your kick, your stretch, balancing yourself. Body down and kick. Stretch forward and kick. And you kick more and harder, and you reach forward and you kick. And it's beginning to reverse out. Now give me one more last size set. Hang in for 30 seconds. We go left arm out, palm up, straight down for that inside grip. Knees together for alignment. We got right leg 10 feet below the ground, right arm reach up to the ceiling. Spine. Now chin up, stretch up, and give it that strong kick. Back and up, back and up. You kick as far away from the butt. Up to the ceiling with your chin up, chest lift, and that right arm. Solid, now strong kick, strong stretch, equal opposite, you balance for infinity, especially 10 seconds. Body down as you kick, stretch forward as you kick. You feel like you might fall, you kick, and you kick, and chest down, chest down, and kick, and kick. Awesome, so good, and I'm gonna reverse out and we keep it moving. We step to the back here and that. No time to waste here. Most cardiovascular posture, working your heart as a muscle. So let's go. We got arms up locked, just like that first posture. Biceps against the head, palms tight. Inhale, get a lengthen. We go right leg, step, lock in. Let's go right down. Don't think do. It's override the mind time. Body down, leg up. Better suffer 10 seconds and 10 years as you stretch forward backward without stopping gotta stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch and change step back so you got arms still strong inhale gonna lengthen up as so we go left leg step lock and just go right scan right down half a second and a hundred ten percent effort stretching forward backward fingertips toes open the body bones to scan literally Tearing the body apart, internally stretching the heart. So stretch and change. So we step back, arms down, and we stand tall and look like that was the best thing in the world. 
And then we take it down a notch. Let's take a little pivot and either way, just come to the left of your mat, separate leg stretch. We do one set here. We're gonna get arms up, lengthen and take a big step, four feet, right? So your mat's about six feet, four foot step here. We got heels in line, big toes in, stretch the arms out, stomach in and swan dive down. Arms back, chest open. This we gotta take it nice and slow. And then we're looking to grab your heels from the outside, bending the knees as you need. And this is where, see what's available, right? If you're not at the heels, maybe still towards the baby toes, ankles, or you could also place the hands in front of you and diagnose where you are. If your legs are bending, this is normal, right? So we want to work on lock the legs, pushing the knees back, lifting the hips, eventually legs lock, make sure thighs tight as can be. That's when you start to pull with the upper body strength. Now, as you inhale, strength, exhale, pull. And as you pull, get those elbows right alongside the calves. You pull, pull chest right through the wind of the legs. Now, look where we're going. Ultimately, that forward on floor between the toes. So you feel that stretch all over the back legs, all down the spine. 360 stretch as you ball forward, pull, aim forward, right down in between the toes and the floor. Gonna pull and change. So we get arms out, chest open. We're gonna hinge up, step right foot back. So we get arms up, down, and we stand tall and breathe. And we're right in deep posture here. Triangle pose works everything in the body. We get arms up. So we're gonna lengthen and give that big step. Four feet, arms down. So you get arms down, ankles below the wrists. Turn right foot out, parallel to the wall in front of you, push the hips forward and forward, and then bounce under the right knee. Bounce and bounce under the right knee, get down and down low, hold it low. We get arms back, go. Right elbow in front of the right knee, left arm stretching up. Now chin to the left shoulder, look up at the left thumb. Keep reaching up, stretching down with out stopping intermission. Now all the while, engage your left thigh. Press the left foot down, down to the floor. It's not, not going anywhere. Stomach in and in, push into the knee, twist the uh, upper body back and go reach. Feel like you might touch the ceiling and come out. Other way, right foot in, left foot out, switch it up, push the hips forward, bounce into the left knee, right? A few big bounces down and down and make sure you get to your lowest point probably a little lower than you'd like to be. And then we hold it low. And then we get arms back, go. Left elbow in front of the left knee, right arm stretching up. Now just visualizing those hands on the clock, reaching up to 12 o'clock, down to six o'clock, you're going. Tug of war between the fingertips, chin to the right shoulder, you gotta breathe, steadying it out of the nose. Now keep reaching, stretching as you engage the right thigh. Press the right foot down into the floor. Now stomach in, keep it in, push into the knee, twist the upper back, open the chest, reach and touch the ceiling. Yeah, next three seconds to go, so step right foot back, we got arms up and down and just stillness and breath, right? Especially at the peak of the mountain, we let that simmer. And we're ready for round two. Same thing, nice, strong. Downhill from here, we get arms up. So we're gonna lengthen and big step. So four feet, arms down, ankles below the wrist. We turn right foot out, parallel to the wall in front of you. Push the hips forward, bounce into the right knee. Get down and down low. Stay down low. We go arms back, go. Right elbow in front of the right knee. Left arm stretching up. We go chin to the left shoulder. Keep reaching up, stretching down with out stopping it's like a line of energy shooting through the chest you're opening up that marriage in the heart lungs as you breathe steady finish stronger gonna drop left hip down a little as you push into the knee while twisting up your back opening the chest and reaching up to the ceiling to the sky outer space and then out to the last side right foot in left foot out Push the hips forward and bounce in the left knee. A few big bounces down and down. Stay down, arms back, and go. Left elbow in front of the left knee. Right arm stretching up. And at this point, and you know it's all out. Fingertip to fingertip, tug of war without stopping, without intermission. And we go moment by moment, breath by breath, never ever anticipating when you 
might perhaps come out more so appreciating and working everything in the body as you drop I hip down a little, push under the knee, twist the upper back, upper body back, and where do we reach? Up, ceiling into the sky, or space. And that's enough, get strong for the end, and then we got five foot back, we got arms up and down, and let that settle, couple deep breaths. Okay, good, now making our way downhill, we're gonna get arms up, lock, hands and prayer, thumbs crossed. We're gonna lengthen and step three feet. Pivot on your heels, face front, back, whatever it is, back foot is the left foot, 45 degrees, square the hips, lock the arms, chin in, round in, curling into it. The more you round into it, the better. And then you got to get to work, right? Hands on either side of the foot. You bend the knee as you need to to get forward to the knee. And we all know the forehead is not going to magically travel to the knee, right? It takes effort, determination, will, willingness to suffer temporarily. We got to hollow out the stomach, traction in the middle of the spine, up and up, chin in. You feel that throat choke, chin in more. Feel that stretch in the back of the neck. And so you could push, suffer that little more for lifetime benefits for it a little higher compressing the pancreas to live we're going to hold hands and prayers to get balance with a dash of patience and slowly unwind the spine now press that right foot down and down root it down stack the vertebra slow build that control good really nice team nice exit let's take that pivot pivot one more time Back foot in, 45 degrees, flex that right hip a few times, square the hips, lock the arms with that chin and stomach in. Take your time, right? It's not a race. Slowly, deliberately rounding into it on the entrance. And then actively getting your forward higher and higher. And we all know how it is. It's easy to be inactive, do much of nothing, but you get what you give. Every little millimeter, miles of improvement. So you got to hollow out the stomach. Back to the middle spine, up and up, and with that chin in, throat choking, again, temporary suffering, lifetime benefits should be an easy choice for it a little teeny something higher and get a hold, freeze, hands in prayer so you could balance without coming out. And slowly unravel, slow motion, stack the vertebra one by one, chin's going to come up last. Pivot, five foot back, arms down, and give it a couple deep breaths. And let's close out as always. So we're gonna find that same spot on your mat, toes, heels together again for tree pose, sadasana, and then we're on the floor. So we're gonna shift all focus to your left leg. Let's push the left knee back, pull up in the left thigh tight, and then right leg up, grab your foot, work it up high as you can onto the thigh. And so you got to find your balance. Okay, so it starts with the root, pushing the knee back, pulling up in the thigh. We go right hand in prayer, close to the heart. Left leg down, stomach in. We lengthen the spine, chest. Now, if you're feeling pretty sturdy and tree, toes stand, look four feet in front, hinge nice and slow. All right, so we're going to hinge down, fingers to the floor. And that's where we're going to bend the knee, sitting on the heel. And once you're sitting on the heel, Arms could come alongside your hips, so like your little training wheels. We're gonna balance now with your stomach in and in, lengthening the spine, chest as we go left hand, right hand for namaskar. Namaskar, so you lift your gaze, dock the heel a little bit, balance and focus on, concentrate and meditate. Awesome, nice hold, Marie. I'm gonna come back up opposite way, push into the floor, and then we're gonna come up. All right, beautiful. So we go right leg down, and let's go one more. Close out nice, strong. So left leg up, grab your foot, find your balance, your focus, and let's go. So it starts with the root, the right leg, 10 feet below the ground, and then lengthening the spine, chest. And so you gotta look tall, proud. And then if you're ready, toe, we're gonna to look four feet in front. We're gonna hinge down nice and slow. And eventually we're gonna go fingers to the floor. Fingers to the floor, so I'm gonna bend the knee, sit right down on the heel. 
All right, once we sit down on the heel, we get arms alongside your hips, your little training wheels as we go stomach in, lengthening the spine, chest. Ready, we go left hand, right namaskar. And then as you're ready, we lift the gaze, doff the heel, and just wherever you are, balancing and focusing, last few seconds of the standing series. Awesome, so good toe stands. And as you're ready, you're gonna come back up opposite way, meet up with tree patiently waiting. All right, left leg down, just give that nice deep breath. Awesome standing series, and then we're gonna turn around, lay down, and so you get a chance to relax. All right, so maybe, of course, grab a little sip of water and then, most importantly, settling into the floor, right? Valuable time here. This is your body. Takes in all the information from all the postures we've all been working so hard in. So let's check in. Savasana, heels are together. Feet are going to float out. Arms alongside, palms up. And so you could just not move. Very nice, so we're gonna start up with winter moving pose, Pavana Tassa, your toes, heels together. We're gonna to go right leg up, tight grip right below the knee. 10 fingers involved, you're gonna work the knee slightly out, avoid the rib cage, pull steady down to the shoulder now, gaze down towards your chest, lengthening the neck, and as you work closer to the shoulder, get an inhale for strength, exhale, get a pull, and as we go, stomach, in and in, biceps bulging, and use your strength, another inhale, Exhale, so go pull, squeeze, tighter and freeze. And let's go right leg comes down, left leg comes up. Give it that tight 10 finger grip. We're gonna work the knees slightly out, boy the rib cage steady, down to the shoulder. So you can gaze down towards your chest, lengthen in the neck, and as you work closer to the shoulder, you get an inhale for strength. Exhale, get a pull, and you got stomach in and in. Biceps bulging and with any and all strength, deep breath, pull, squeeze, tighter and freeze and release. Left leg down, both legs up. Look now, grab opposite elbows over the knees. If you're not at the elbows, grab what you can. Fingers, wrists, forms, best grip. And then you start giving yourselves a big hug. Each breath bigger. Get an inhale, strength. Exhale, pull them with that steady. Constant pull, you should be getting more tight, compact, internally massaging the colon. So let's go, last chance, biggest hug, deep breath, pull and squeeze. As you're releasing, immediately hit that relax button with your arms alongside, palms up, and breathing long and deep. Good. We give that chance to settle, and then we're on to your first of many sit-ups now. Sit-ups, toes, heels, touch, flex, toes to the face, arms over the head, cross thumbs, stomach and our breathing, calm, up, double exhale, grab toes, forward to the knees. So we turn around, lay down in the stomach, and these next four postures start up your spine, strengthening, and with Cobra Pose, Bhujangasana, we're going to get hands close to the chest. We're going to line the fingers up at the tops of the shoulders. The elbows are up and into the body. As to be zipping up the leg, get a crazy glue your heels together, feet pressed down. Now inhale, we're gonna peel chest up, not push up. You peel chest up and look up. Now where your eyes go, you go chest up, look up. And as you tighten the legs, glutes, where we go, a little more up. Good, nice Larry. So got slow on the way down. So we go left ear to the towel, arms to your side, and it's that smooth, clean, crisp transition. It's all effort, complete relaxation. OK, 
Okay, second set, we're gonna line fingers up, tops of the shoulders, the elbows are up and into the body and you know, we got some extra crazy goo on those heels. Second set, keep the feet pressed down. Inhale, gonna peel chest up. Again, peel chest up and look up. Now your eyes go, you go. So you keep looking up, going up, chest up, look up. And as you tighten the legs, glutes, you go. Can to do that little more up, elbows in, freeze and breathe. And then release. And so you can immediately relax, right ear to the towel, arms to your side. Okay, palms face down in the towel, and no towards the lower body for locust pose. Let's do that little shuffle back forth, elbows, pinkies as close as you can. All right, once we work on that, we're gonna go chin out. Nice stretch in the neck, throat. We got right leg solid and up 45 degrees now engage right thigh lock knee point goes back to the back wall extend leg out hold strong still three two one so you're gonna relax right lock left and to left now engage thigh lock knee point toes back back wall hold still three two one, mouth on towel, kiss towel, gonna rock back forth, elbows closer, palms flat. Tighten the leg, one leg, crazy go those heels, give it that deep breath and go. Both legs up, you shift all the way to the shoulders, use all upper body strength and as you shift, another gear more, push, struggle, try, legs up, 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 and then down, get a nice extra effort and then we shake it out, let it go. Left ear to the towel, arms to your side, and breathe. Okay, round two. Once again, palms face down. Let's try to get those pinkies to touch, elbows, pinkies a little bit closer. And then chin is out. Right leg is solid. Right leg is up 45 degrees. Engage thigh, lock knee, point. Toes back, back wall, strong and still. Three, two, one. So you're gonna relax the right, lock the left. It's gonna lift. Now engage thigh, lock knee, point toes back, back wall, hold still. Three, two, one. Mouth on towel, kiss towel. Now elbows closer, palms flat. You make up your mind. 10 seconds, 110% effort. Give it that deep breath and Go, both legs up, you shift all the way to the shoulders, use all upper body strength. Also use your hands, press your hands, hands on the floor, shift, push, struggle, legs up. Slow on the way down, so good. And then we shake it out and let it go, right here to the top. Okay, let's start to fly. Spread your arms out, airplane wings, tighten the leg up. So we got chin out, extra crazy go on those heels. We're gonna press the hips down, rest bodies in the air. So we'll go hips down and everything up. So we go arms up, chest up. Now, where do we look? Up, we gotta breathe, steady and out of the nose. As we got now, breath by breath, chest up, legs up, and we're spreading those wings to fly everything up. And then that smooth land, complete relax, few deep breaths in between. Okay, fly again, spread those wings, tighten the legs. So we got chin out, extra crazy go on those heels. We're gonna press the hips down, give it that deep breath. So you gotta fly. So we go arms up, chest up. Now where we look up and that breath flow, steady and out of the nose. That's your fuel. And again, breath by breath, chest up, legs up. Now you know you're spreading those wings across your room and it's not to fly down and want everything up, fly, and then land smoothly, right here to the top. Now 
Now for bow pose, we get that grip right below the toes from the outside, and we're going to work your knees, feet together as best as you can. All right, outside grip, knees, feet together. We're going to press the hips down. So give that deep breath, and so got to kick. Now as you kick, body feels up, and so got to look up. Now so we got to look up and kick up and breathe. Now as you kick, you balance on the center of the stomach. Kick, shoulders relax back. Now it's time to look higher and kick harder. So that's head up and kick. And then we're gonna release and relax. Left ear to the towel, arms to your side. Round two, same thing, nice, strong, 20 seconds, integrating all your spinal work. So get that outside grip right below the toes and make up your mind right now. Press the hips down, give it that deep breath and just kick the kick, heel body up and you look up, right? It's so simple. You just look up and you kick up and you breathe and you're kicking with your thighs, glutes, allowing the shoulders Relax back, you look higher, feel that stretch in the throat. Now towards the end, that secret weapon, you all know, you gotta smile and breathe and head up and kick. And then we gotta release and relax, right? Beautiful, beautiful work, all right? That extra effort at the end, you know your spine will be thanking you later. And let's go for that change of pace. Push up, top of the towel, fixed firm. So good for opening up the knee, ankle joints, and always a posture. We want to go at your own pace, right? It's not what anybody else is doing. It's what you can do, right? And we're all in different places, right? So some of us maybe open the knees a bit as you need to to sit in, and we're sitting in between the heels. Now. Maybe you're a little more upright, right? It's only if you're kind of able to get your butt on the floor in between the heels do we start to think about grabbing each foot, fingers face towards the mirror, going down slow, right elbow, left elbow. And listening to the body, right? If you're feeling sharp shooting pain, your body's telling you you've gone too far, right? We go where it's a bit uncomfortable, but manageable, where Comfort meets discomfort. That's where you're in the healing zone. And then we hold it there and breathe. Your breathing should be long. Your breathing should be deep. Letting the head drop down. A few deep breaths together. Nice, long, deep inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Fill up your lungs. Empty them out. Gentle, slow. On the way up, one arm at a time, head's gonna come up last. And then we're gonna quickly turn around, just gonna lay down and just, again, right to the floor to your breath, few deep breaths for your knees, ankles, getting the benefits, fresh blood, snow, good fluid rushing into them. And then we're going right in for what we call half tortoise, stretching your spine out, flex feet, arms over the head, stomach and our breathing calm. Up, double exhale, grab toes, four to the knees. So we go middle of your tile, knees, feet together, sitting on your heels. Once you're sitting on the heels, we get arms up, locked, hands in prayer, thumbs cross, arms as far behind the ears. Inhale, we're gonna lengthen up, slow, exhale. We're reaching forward and going slow, right? Slower towards the end. Eventually we got Forehead, then the pinkies to the floor. Once so you're down there, we got arms locked, hands in prayer. Walking the pinkies up little by little. Stomach in and in, traction the tailbone back. So now arms, shoulders stretch forward. Tailbone back, you breathe long and deep and keep stretching, stretching and stretching. And let's go knees, palms, glued, and a flat back. We're gonna hinge up slow. Chin away from the chest, slow control as you come up. Arms down, so now we're not turn around. Right in camel pose, stand on top of the knees, measure about two fists between the knees, feet right behind. There we go, hands on hips like they're in back pockets. We got elbows as far behind the body and we ease into it. Inhale, we're gonna lift the chest head. Exhale, we're gonna Drop your head back. Now, as soon as you drop the head back, you're officially in the posture. Make sure you're breathing long, deep and out of the nose. And little by little, hips forward, forward, chest up and up. 
gradually going back, right? Now, eventually make your way halfway back, see the middle of the wall behind you, look to grab heels. If not, hands stay on the hips, right? I want you to understand it's not about grabbing the heels, more about feeling that whole front side of the body stretch. As you exhale, hips forward, forward, inhale, chest up. So feel your stomach, chest, heart, throat, wide open, breathe long. Breathe deep, and now let's breathe into it and through it. Exhale, hips forward and forward. Inhale, lift open, heart up. And now hands on hips. We got head up last, and especially after camel, we know it's up and around, right? Smooth transition in a ninja-like fashion into Savasana, breathing long and deep. All right, round two, let's do it. Flex feet, arms over the head, stomach on our breathing, come up, double exhale, grab toes, four to the knees. All right, let's get on top of the towel, stand top of the knees. We're gonna measure about two fists between the knees, feet right behind, we go hands on hips, fingers face down. Elbows as far behind the body, and let's get an ease it in. Inhale, we're gonna lift the chest, head, exhale, and drop the head, and as soon as you drop the head back, again, breathe long and deep, and just hips forward forward chest up and up gradually go back and again it's not a race for the heels but if you see halfway down the wall behind you grab heels thumbs outside fingers inside exhale hips forward forward inhale chest up now feel it whole front side wide open you're breathing long you're breathing deep. You're breathing into it and through it. Whatever comes up. And for 10 seconds, let's breathe and breathe some more. Keep breathing. Breathe. Breathe long. Finish strong. Exhale. Hips forward. Forward. Inhale. Heart up. As you're ready, hands on hips. Hips are going to come up last. And really good work, everybody working so hard there. And then just turn around, lay down, and just whatever you're feeling in Savasana as you're breathing long and deep. And whatever you're feeling, it's temporary, right? So if it doesn't feel so great now, right? It's just your body moving, energy, getting rid of stuff you don't need. And if we give that a chance to settle, we'll go right in for rabbit. Flex feet, arms over the head, stomach on our breathing, calm up. Double exhale, grab toes, four to the knees. So now middle of your towel, knees, feet together, sitting on your heels. Now rabbit, what we want to do is use the towel here. We're going to wrap it over the heels. Let's grab your heels, thumbs outside, fingers inside. Now sitting upright, we're not looking around. We look at your stomach, chin in, stomach in, and then round in. So you're curling into it. So we want to get top of the head of the towel. Top of the head of the towel, if there's a gap, we try to walk knees to forehead one by one and let's start to pull. Got to grab a hand, fully heel. Got to pull, lift the hips up and up, stomach in and in. Roll forward, I'll think I'm gonna pull, hollow out the stomach, roll forward to the arms, gonna lock, smush arms, against legs, shoulders up from ears, pull, hips, little more, up, down, and then we unravel slow, chin's gonna come up last, we get that quick turn around, lay down, right to the very end, two deep breaths. Flex feet, arms over the head, stomach on a breathing calm, up, double exhale, grab toes, four to the knees. All right, once again, middle of your towel, knees, feet together, sitting on your heels. We're going to get towel over, and we're going to grab your heels, thumbs outside, fingers inside, sitting upright, chin in, stomach in, and let's round in. So we're going to curl into it, so we're going to go top of the head of the towel. Top of the head of the towel, if there's that gap, just try to walk knees to forehead one by one. And let's go, grab a handful of your heel, gonna pull and lift the hips up, pull, lift the butt up. We got stomach in and in, roll forward, ultimately now hollow out the stomach, roll forward, ultimately the arm's gonna lock. Now as you smush arms against the legs, I want you to try your absolute best to smush those heels happily together. 
press the feet down, down to the earth, and you pull hips that millimeter up, sky, stomach, and hips up. Awesome, really good. Now it's got on one spine, we got chin up, and that quick turn around, lay down, and right into the home stretch. Two more postures, one set of each. All right, let's do it. Flex feet, arms over the head, stomach and a breathing, come up. Double exhale, grab toes, four to the knees. Spin around, face yourselves in the front, separate leg straps. So we'll go right leg out about one o'clock, press the left foot against the thigh. Now we get our arms up, interlock fingers, lengthen and twist and chin in and round in. And I want you to start thinking four to the knee. All right, so you bend the knees you need to, four to the knee, tight grip below the toes, and then you go deeper, going to push the four deeper into the knee. Kick the heel away from you, flex the toes towards you. So kick the heel out, flex the toes, little right leg lock. So you get elbows down, hug in the calves, heel out, toes in and pull. And change, so we go other way. So we go left leg out, right leg in. Lengthen and twist left, chin in, round in, and let's go forward to the knee. Bend the knee as you need, tight grip below the toes and get to work. Every little bit counts, pushing the forward deep front of the knee. Kicking the heel out, flexing the toes back. So heel out, toes in, a little left leg locks, the elbows down, down to the calves. Go heel out, toes in, and pull, and change. So we got both legs out, lay down. As soon as you're down, you're up. Double exhale, grab toes, four to the knees. Now, middle index finger, let's hook them up. Cut around the big toes, do your little dance. Shake it out, right, left, right, left, loosen up. Once we shake it out, let's lock the legs. Kick the heels forward, flex the toes to the legs, lock. Now as your legs lock, make sure thighs tight, stomach in and in. Inhale, we're gonna lengthen, stretch up out of the waist. Exhale, gonna pull. Now where we look at your toes and get your forehead closer to the toes, millimeter by millimeter, day by day, we're working forward to the toes. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, pull, chin forward, look forward. Now last chance. Breath, we're going to push the toes and pull. Get nice for you to get to lay right down where you are, arms over your head. We go right up that strong step. Go left toe, grab toes, forward to the knees. All right, go right in. Final posture, face whatever way works for you. Spinal twist. We're going to bend the left knee in line with the belly. Left knee flat on the floor. We go right foot up over. Now make sure the right arm behind the spine, left arm up over the knee. Push under the knee. Go over the right shoulder and twist. Inhale, we're gonna lengthen the spine, chest, exhale, look over the shoulder, twist, stomach in and in. Push into the knee. Now lean a little bit on the right hip, lift the chest head. Now so you're gonna look a little bit farther over that right shoulder, see something new, gonna twist. All right, switch up now. So you're gonna bend the right knee, line the right knee with the belly. We're gonna go left foot up over the knee, flat down. Now we're so gonna go left arm behind the spine. Right arm is up over the knee, and I gotta push into the knee, look over the left shoulder, and let's twist. Inhale, gotta lengthen the spine, chest, head. Exhale, gotta twist. We got stomach in and in. Push into the knee. Lean a little bit into the left hip, start to get tall. Gotta lift, chest, head, look farther over that left shoulder, twist. And let's release, relax on your back. All right, now as always, final sit-up is the best sit-up. Flex feet, arms over the head, stomach and our breathing, come up. Go black shell, grab toes, forward to the knees, and let's close out with our final breathing. So Kalabhati breathing, knees, feet together, sitting on the heels. We're gonna grab your knees. We got arms locked, spine straight. And we all know, focusing on that exhale, the inhale's automatic. So together with the exhale, follow this pace. Let's go. Stomach in, 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 stale air out, 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 stomach in, 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 stale air out, 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 stomach in, 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 stale air out, 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 stomach in, 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 now it's time to go faster, stomach in, 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 it's all coming out. Stale air thoughts, anything you don't need, it's getting out all right here now, stronger, last 10, 9, 8, Awesome job, bro. So feel your practice, whatever way works for you. And just give yourself some time here as you're ready to just lay down, melting into the floor, and let your body be in that receptive mode, right? Savasana, 
is a posture, right? And the most important thing you're learning in Savas is how to receive, right? You work so hard, but allow your body to reap the rewards. And it's by doing nothing, right? Allowing your body to just kind of melt into the floor, keeping your breath long, deep, and just allow your body's innate intelligence to integrate and assimilate all that information from all those postures. And you know, we work the whole body, head to toe, bones to skin, inside out. So let's take a little quick scan of the body from your head to your toe, relaxing the top of your head, your scalp relaxed, relaxing your forehead, your forehead, your temples, temples relaxed, letting your eyes sink a little bit deeper into the sockets, your brain sink a little bit deeper into the back of your head, relaxing your cheekbone, your cheekbone, your jaw, whole face revitalized, relaxed, and it's gonna go down onto your throat, opening up that area of your body. This is where you find your self-expression, your voice. We're opening up your throat. And then all the way down to your shoulders, any tension, it is melting away. No need to carry it around. Relaxing the shoulders, just opening up the biceps, relaxing the biceps. Down onto your elbows, revitalize, recharge, relaxing your forms, relaxing your forms. All the way down into your wrist, revitalize, recharge, into your hands from the thumb, all the way into the pinky, revitalize, recharge. And then we find yourselves in the center of your chest. This is your heart, right? We're opening, opening up the heart, opening your heart, feel it opening up right here, right now. Still feeling that up, down motion in the torso, relaxing your torso. Letting the hips sink a little bit deeper into the floor, relaxing your hips and finding that relaxation down your legs, relaxing your thighs, your thighs. You know, we really revitalize the knee joints, so important for a nice, strong, stable posture throughout your journey of life. Relaxing your calves, relaxing your calves. And of course, the ankles, such important joints for stabling your posture as well. Opening up the ankles and so relaxing your feet all the way into the big toe, pinky toe, and now it's the whole body inside out, bones to skin, revitalize, recharge, take a few deep breaths on your own. And just remember this relaxation you created for yourself showing up on your mat today. Keep it with you throughout the day. Remember, don't let anybody steal your peace. Namaste.